I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to add fraction. Here is a very simple approach. We have three examples. In the first one we have same denominator. In the other two we have different denominators. Let us see how to add these fractions when we have same denominator and when we have different denominators. The first one here is 2 over 5 plus 1 over 5. Now let's make a, a rectangle and then we'll divide this rectangle into 5 equal parts. So let me just sketch, I'll show you how to do this. Just draw open rectangle and divide into 5 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So you got one rectangle. Now when we say 2 over 5, that means we need to select 2 out of these 5. So that is 2 over 5, right? So that is we have selected 2 out of 5. And let me write down here 2 out of 5. So we have 2 out of 5. Now what do we need to do? We need to add this fraction with another fraction, which is 1 out of 5. So let me make another rectangle, which is almost of the same size, right? Okay, so again, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 5. 1 out of 5 means each portion is 1 fifth. Do you see that? 1 fifth. A whole has been divided into 5 equal parts. So each part is 1 fifth. So that is 1 out of 5. Now what happens when you add them? When you add them, you get 1 out of 5, 2 out of 5, and 3 out of 5. So what you get is 3 out of 5. Do you see that? So that is your answer. Correct? You can visualize and see it. Now this was easy. We had the same denominator. How can we do the same thing with such examples? 2 over 3 plus 1 over 6. Well, let's try to do it. So let's consider another rectangle here. Let's start with an open rectangle. Let's divide into three parts, right? So it is 1, 2, and 1, 3. So think about this rectangle, right? So when I say 2 out of 3, that means I'll take 2 out of these. Okay, so that is 2 out of 3, right? Each is 1 third. So I can write this as 2 out of 3. Now the second rectangle is 1 out of 6. Let us maintain the same size. It is kind of important to maintain the same size. So I'll actually divide it into first three parts, which is 1, 2, and 3. How do I divide it into six parts? Well, I can draw a line in the center. In that case, I have divided this whole into six parts and I have to select one out of it. So I select one out of it. So that becomes one out of six. Now the question is, how do we add these two? Now they, the sizes are different. Do you see this? One sixth is kind of half of one third. So what we can do here is that we can divide the first rectangle into six parts. Let's do that. Do you see this? Still, this is two third, but each portion is one sixth. Now we can add, do you see why common denominator is very important? Same sizes, right? One sixth, two sixth, three sixth, four sixth, and one five sixth. That is five out of six. Do you see that? That is how you add them when the denominators are different. Let's take another example and then see if you could do it, right? You can actually pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. So now again, I'll take a rectangle, divide it into three equal parts, right? Say, so one, two, and three. I need to select two out of three. That means two out of three is this, correct? That is two out of three. Okay, 
So we have got 2 out of 3. Now we have to add half. So let me make another rectangle, the blue team. Okay, here it is. Same size, size is important. Half. Let me cut it like this. Do you see this? This is also a half, right? And let me select one half of it. That is the half. So I have to add two out of three and half to find my answer. How do I add this? Hmm, that is tricky. What we can do is that we can divide the earlier one into half and this one into one thirds. Then what do we get? One out of six. Do you see there are six equal parts? One out of six. There are six equal parts. One out of six. So each part is one sixth. How many one sixths are highlighted? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we get seven out of six as our answer. Do you get it? Now here is another thing to look into. So we have already answered our questions. And what we need to observe here is that when we say 7 out of 6, what does it mean? Well, let me again draw this. Okay, so, so I'm drawing this rectangle into 6 equal parts. Okay, now 7 out of 6 means when I select 6, how do I select the seventh one? For that, I need another rectangle. Do you see that? I need another rectangle. Six equal parts. And I have to select one more to get seven out of six. Do you see that? So that is also seven out of six. But you could write this as one whole, one whole and 1 out of 6 and 1 out of 6. Do you see that? So 7 out of 6 could be written as 1 whole 1 sixth. So that is how you can write improper fraction as a mixed number. Do you see that? So in this video you learn how to add fractions when they have same denominator or when they have different denominator and also how to write improper fraction with a mixed number. I am Anil Kumar and I hope that helps you to visualize and understand the concept. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Thanks for watching.